Could you build a bat cave in real life? That means not only building a high-tech operations hub with vehicles, servers, labs, and hidden access points, but also keeping it secret from the entire world. In this video, we'll test the explanations given by the comics. Using lessons from the Manhattan Project and companies like Apple, we'll prove that given the right resources, you could build a bat cave in real life. Imagine creating the largest secret layer ever conceived. You've got the fortune, the vision, and the determination to carve out a hidden base beneath your property. But there's one problem money can't fix. Keeping your bat cave a secret. Every truck, every load of concrete, every worker on site leaves behind traces that makes true secrecy nearly impossible. Construction at this scale is loud and hard to disguise. Excavation brings heavy equipment, blasting, and the removal of tons of earth. Even on a secluded estate, it's almost guaranteed to be noticed by neighbors or local authorities. Modern technology adds another hurdle. Satellite imagery now reveals land use changes that would once have gone unseen. A project the size of a bat cave could show up online long before completion. There's one important caveat. In many versions, the bat cave isn't built. It's a natural cave existing under Wayne Manor for generations. Much of the noise and heavy machinery could be avoided with this pretext. So building a bat cave in real life would be possible, but only if you already have an existing cave to use. But there's still another potential problem to keep in mind. Bureaucracy. You'll need to conduct large-scale construction. That requires permits, geological surveys, and environmental impact reports, all of which enter the public record. Curious neighbors, officials, or journalists can request these documents. While a billionaire might try to make paperwork disappear, multiple agencies hold copies, often tracked digitally. Then there's the human factor. Workers don't show up quietly. They leave trails through invoices, contracts, and supply orders. Photos posted to social media or stories shared online create breadcrumbs. Even if each detail seems harmless, at scale, these clues can be put together by investigative journalists or online communities. Scale is the inescapable problem. Government facilities sometimes conceal underground structures, but they place them in remote areas or within existing complexes. A bat cave would require installing reinforced structures and routing massive electrical and ventilation systems. That's industrial-scale engineering in a populated area, drawing attention through vibrations, noise complaints, visible equipment, or truck convoys. Even working past sound and satellite challenges, records stay behind. Large procurement orders don't vanish, and they point toward what's being built. The broader the project, the more people know fragments of what's happening. And as fragments build up, your secret gets easier to expose. So the challenge becomes clear. If you can't conceal the act of building your bat cave, is there a way to disguise it? If you can't bury the trail of activity, maybe the only path forward is making it look like something entirely different. This is where the financial shell game comes in. On paper, a bat cave sounds impossible to disguise. But if the money trail is blurred through layers of cover companies, the story becomes plausible. In Batman lore, this is built into the narrative. Bruce Wayne doesn't hire contractors in his own name. He pushes sensitive purchases through Wayne Enterprises, with Lucius Fox as the only person understanding what's happening. Equipment gets mislabeled as research prototypes, vehicles as test platforms, servers as experimental systems. The structure built around truth protects it. This connects to real-world strategies, which is where we learn a lesson from Apple. Apple sets up separate LLCs for experimental projects, keeping competitors and the public misdirected until product reveals. The method doesn't erase paper trails, but obscures them enough to make casual scrutiny ineffective. Scaling this to a bat cave means dozens of fronts operating simultaneously. One company might specialize in industrial drilling, another in climate control, a third in reinforced materials. Viewed individually, each order makes sense. Biomedical facilities need cooling systems. Mining contractors need drills. Security startups order blast doors. The deception works because no single order looks extraordinary. Putting all the orders together would give the bat cave away, but the shell system scatters puzzle pieces too far apart for outsiders to assemble. Historically, you've seen this pattern on larger scales. During World War II, 
The Manhattan Project operated through vast networks of shell corporations and cover projects, disguising weapons labs as routine industrial work. Special facilities were explained as munitions plants or research centers. The genius wasn't erasing unusual activity. It was making activity blend with realistic cover stories. The cost of maintaining such systems is enormous. Every shell corporation must survive as a legitimate entity for audits. That means hiring lawyers for paperwork, accountants for fake revenue systems, and staff to maintain convincing public faces. You're not just hiding money, you're running phantom businesses that might withstand legal and financial scrutiny. While a bat cave remains possible if you have an existing cave and enough wealth to run an elaborate shell game, there are still more factors to consider. For example, running these fake businesses will require staff for credibility. Divide and Conquer applies secrecy directly to construction. Instead of one crew seeing everything, the project splits into small, isolated jobs appearing harmless individually. Concrete teams think they're reinforcing foundations. Electricians are told they're wiring basement upgrades. Each group finishes, gets paid, and leaves without realizing they've helped create something hidden. Spy thrillers rely on it. And Batman stories suggest Wayne could rotate contractors so no one pieces together the truth. Shows like Better Call Saul depict underground labs with foreign crews kept isolated, even blindfolded during transport so they can't identify sites. The method has precedent. The Manhattan Project employed over 100,000 workers, yet hardly anyone knew they were building atomic bombs. Some handled centrifuges, others purified uranium, others worked metallurgy. No position granted understanding of the whole device. Modern intelligence operations follow the same principle. The problem is, Construction demands coordination. You can't cut rock without knowing support placement. Teams remaining isolated, multiply rework, scheduling headaches, and chances that expensive installs become unstable. You need a tight control group coordinating fragments, but every extra person in that circle adds vulnerability. Crews cost more when output must be double-checked by follow-up teams. What might cost tens of millions as a normal build could balloon into hundreds when deliberately fragmented. Even with costs, the payoff is secrecy with genuine chances. To contractors installing pumps, jobs look like large-scale residential systems. No task shouts bat cave. Even if workers compare notes, they lack maps showing job connections. Through compartmentalization, the cave could quietly materialize from hundreds of ordinary tasks stitched together by hidden overseers. But building walls only solves half the puzzle. The question that follows is sustainability. Keeping a fortress running requires constant energy and scaling infrastructure. The machinery, computers, vehicles, and life support filling a real bat cave are power-hungry systems needing feeding every hour just to stay operational. Electricity stands as the first challenge. You need enough power for processor banks, lab equipment, charging stations, and ventilation moving tons of air per minute. Comics show hydroelectric generators or small reactors, both technically plausible but creating their own problems. Hydroelectric requires significant civil works and water flow, while reactors introduce risks demanding oversight and regulation. High-performance computing systems consume electricity at megawatt levels, sometimes requiring dedication substations. They draw as much power as small towns. Sudden spikes linked to single residences would stand out in regional grids, and even masked consumption. Cooling demands are equally severe. Rock holds heat, every server compounds that problem. Data facilities rely on chilled water plants and advanced HVAC systems. Underground, the task becomes harder. Exhaust vents must be carefully disguised, their output muffled. Moving huge amounts of hot air without obvious ducts poses one of the greatest engineering headaches. Water is a constant enemy. Natural seepage corrodes wiring and weakens foundations. Historical bunkers had industrial-scale pumping running continuously. A private cave would absolutely need waterproof seals backed by redundant pumping systems. All these lifelines demand redundancy. If one system fails, entire chambers could become uninhabitable within hours. Critical facilities build in multiple backup generators, mirrored HVAC arrays, and secondary drainage systems. Operating costs can run tens of millions annually, not accounting for vehicle hangars, workshops, and labs. While our dream of a bat cave is still alive, the price tag is increasing 
and may require the use of an unregulated nuclear reactor, which brings us to the weakest link in a real-life Batcave build. If the systems can be hidden and technology bought, who keeps it all running? Unlike comics where Alfred and Lucius Fox cover everything, a real facility would require ongoing maintenance and specialized expertise. No amount of money eliminates the need for people. But every added person introduces risk. Each becomes a potential failure point, not through malice, but because humans cannot live in absolute silence forever. A stray comment, invoice line item, or social media post can unravel years of secrecy. Even the Manhattan Project saw leaks despite compartmentalization and military oversight. Edward Snowden's disclosures showed how one insider could expose multi-billion dollar programs despite secrecy designed by intelligence agencies. If state-backed projects cannot keep details contained, private billionaire odds are slim. Fiction condenses this into tidy solutions, perfectly loyal skeleton crews. Reality would need tiny yet highly trusted teams, but fewer people means more pressure on each and greater impact if any falter. Burnout, resignations, or accidents can leave loose threads in digital footprints and incomplete records. Modern life complicates secrecy. People update resumes, list skills online, and carry devices logging location data. Maintaining invisibility isn't about avoiding spies. It's about unreasonably restricting the everyday lives of your team. Ultimately, the weakest link isn't hidden vents or misfiled invoices. It's the human element. Construction can be disguised, power diverted, materials hidden under shelves, but no billionaire can buy absolute discretion. Secrecy isn't a project milestone. It's a daily operational constraint affecting every choice. After exploring all the factors that go into a real-life Batcave, we're ready to pass our final judgment on how feasible this project would be. With a pre-existing cave, enough wealth, and a rogue, unregulated power supply, you could build a state-of-the-art secret bat cave. But while this project is possible, it's only a matter of time before the amount of human touch points makes it unrealistic to maintain secrecy. Do you think a billionaire could keep a bat cave hidden today? Or would the secret collapse before the Batmobile saw daylight? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video.